Cannibalism is one of the ultimate human taboos, and rumors of cannibalism are far more prevalent than actual proven cases. Here are a few true stories. Hey, wasn't it around here that the Donner Party got snowbound? I think that was farther west in the Sierras. What was the Donner Party? Let's get this one out of the way. The Donner Party story is true. In November of 1846, the ill-fated expedition found itself snowbound in the mountains between California and Nevada. Very quickly, they ate the pack animals. Then after that, the dogs. And then, in a desperate attempt to survive, they boiled the animal bones and hides. That doesn't provide the proper nutrients, though. And so by Christmas, the Donner Party began to eat their dead. Very quickly, rumors and accusations of murder abounded, the idea being that the murderers wanted to keep fresh flesh close at hand. The very next year, in February of 1847, Alfred Packer and five other prospectors headed out in search of gold in Colorado's Breckenridge Mountains. A few months later, Packer stumbled into a camp with a tail that his five fellow prospectors had all died in search of food. Later on, he admitted that one man had died and the rest of the group had eaten him. Three had died of exposure and one man Packer had killed in self-defense. When the weather cleared and authorities found the camp in August, they quickly discovered that Packer had murdered his five fellow prospectors and eaten them. During the nearly three-year Nazi siege of Leningrad in World War II, nearly a million people died. The city was cut off from supplying itself with food, and gangs of hungry citizens roamed the streets. Anxious parents kept their children from going out at night, and the city had to create a unit dedicated with combating cannibalism. Ultimately, 260 Leningrad citizens were charged with the crime during the siege. In 2008, a group of 33 Dominicans set out in a fishing boat for Puerto Rico in search of a better life. Less than two days out, however, the engines malfunctioned and the boat was set adrift. After drifting in open waters for six more days, the first person died. After that, the captain disappeared. After two more weeks, 27 of the original 33 people died of dehydration or starvation. Finally, driven to the brink, the last remaining five survivors ate the body of the most recently deceased. Ironically, the Coast Guard found the boat the next day. These are just a few true stories of survival cannibalism. For even more of these grisly tales, go to HowStuffWorks.com and read 10 true stories of survival cannibalism. And don't forget to subscribe to our videos while you're here.